there can be also you can work as a solution architect but if you are starting your career you would not be there for the solution architect but we have a lot of people here who came here for the cross training cross training training yourself into the multiple module is the way forward to go for the solution architects solution architects would be the one who would be having a knowledge on one of more than of one module apart from that they would be very strong into the integration part and how and what things are integrated with the different how sdmm ppfico modules they all get integrated with each other okay and they would be having experience of at least minimum to minimum 6 to 7 years of experience generally we prefer to have to become a solution architect we prefer to have a 10 plus years of experience in sap sap consulting 10 plus years of experience to become a solution architect you can also be a solution architect in your particular modules sd okay or mm in fico you can be a fico solution architect where under you there can be multiple different consultants would be there but you would be the one who would be uh, governing it and uh, making sure that uh, what are the design which has been put it there uh, what are the configuration has been done what are the process flow has been designed you review them you challenge them and you get them corrected wherever it is required okay so within a single module also you can become a solution architect i know many people when it is a global project okay when it's a global project where basically under you there are uh, 60 65 countries are there who is using this uh, uh, order to cash process and this order to cash process you have a multiple consultants who are delivering in the different countries and uh, any country you have harmonized the process any country wants any change in the process then it goes to the central excellence team where you are sitting it as a solution architect you have a consultant with you and they would be you would be reviewing it that in order to cash if anything need to be changed you need to be consulted first uh, if any changes need to be made and then you would be suggesting from the IT side that what things we can do it whether we should do it or not or what way we need to do it and what would be the impact to the another modules okay that way you can be a solution architect with the very good and deep knowledge onto a single module if you want to become a solution excel uh, architect go mastery excellence you can do it then add one more module add a consultant experience of five years and do uh, a BAP for functional consultant and one more uh, we have functional module overview for solution architects so in this one in this training you come with the uh, overview of uh, all the functional modules a BAP you for functional consultant you know a little bit of the ABAP and then uh, uh, one module you know till excellence and uh, you add one more module so you know two modules and you know overview of all the modules you know the abap part also that what are the abap limitations not in detail as abap trainer but from the functional consultant perspective you know okay so that can be a path for a solution architect if you want to become a solution architect mm -hmm.